Hey everyone, so today we're going to be talking about a new patent that was just granted to Nintendo at the end of November that looks like it could be hinting at a new Switch, some sort of new Switch in 2023. Now, the reason that we feel like this patent could be doing this is due to a consistent pattern Nintendo has displayed in the way that they file their patents really since the beginning of the Nintendo Switch era. Now, full credit goes out to our good friend of the channel, Mike Odyssey, for discovering this patent and bringing the conversation forward over on his channel. So we'll put a link down to his video below. But essentially what happened is, while well, the patent was filed on 125, so January 25th earlier this year, it was granted on November 30th. And what's interesting is this patent is for, well, a device we already have, the Switch OLED. Now, naturally, you would assume they would have had a patent for this last year because it came out last year, but they didn't. They filed for one this year, and you might go, okay, so this is the Switch OLED patent. Who really cares? It's a device we already have. Why it, does this matter? Well, that's because Nintendo has displayed a consistent pattern over the years before a new device has come out. What's interesting is that the pattern isn't actually about having that new device in a patent, but rather older devices in a patent. So we have seen patent updates for the original Nintendo Switch before the Switch Lite and version 2 Switch dropped. And that update to the Switch patent really didn't talk about new battery or extended battery life or a new chip or anything like that. It was just a minor update to the patent. And then literally months later, they unveiled the version 2 Nintendo Switch and the Switch Lite. We have then seen the version 2 Switch get edited into other patents as well. So Splatoon 3 had its own patent. And then later, they edited in a Switch version 2 patent into the Splatoon 3 one, and then we ended up with a Splatoon 3 OLED. Notably, they didn't put the OLED in the patent. It was the version 2. They did the same thing with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There were patents around that game, and then they edited in the, well, hey, the version 2 Nintendo Switch to edit it into the patent, and then we ended up getting a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Switch OLED. OLED. So you can sort of see the pattern lining up here that these patents seem to come around and after they're granted, within months we get the announcement of some sort of new device. Now, with this being the Switch OLED patent, and the last time we had an updated patent like this uh, was back when we got the version 2 and Switch Lite, it does make you wonder if there's going to be brand new hardware dropping in 2023. Now, this total speculation, of course, but it would be interesting if that's what this patent meant. Now, there's another possibility that this patent could exist for, and we might see this patent updated in, well, something for Zelda that could end up proving to be the case, and that is that we could get a special edition Zelda OLED edition next year, and maybe that's what this patent is leaning into, and I think we'd know because a patent like this would also get updated into some Breath of the Wild 2 or in this case, Tears of the Kingdom patents. Again, we know about one Tears of the Kingdom patent so far. We don't know if there's going to be more. There probably will be as we get closer to release. But it's just fun to look at these patents and, and sort of figure out what sort of trending patterns happen with the way Nintendo handles their hardware. And this seems to be a, a, a consistent trend with Switch is that we get a patent for an older device right before we're getting a new device, even if it's just a special edition. So... Look, I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. We're getting a new device in 2023. Are we getting like a Switch Pro or something like that? Or a Nintendo Switch 2 or something entirely different? Is it just going to be a Zelda Special Edition? Heck, what if it's a Fire Emblem Engage Special Edition? Again, there could be many possibilities here. I just think it's kind of an interesting pattern to notice and follow a trend that I obviously need to give full credit to Mike Odyssey for discovering. Look, I don't know. I think there's also a bit of wanting something. So as an example, I want a Switch OLED. So maybe something like this it gives you this little false hope of a Zelda Switch OLED or a Switch Pro. I think there's a lot of personal desires from a lot of us for one or the other or both. And with those desires existing, sometimes we will 
grasp for straws uh, to, to try to believe something's coming when we definitively don't know. I definitely can't say that this patent is 1000% evidence that we're going to get something new, but it does just seem to follow a consistent trend, but trends don't necessarily mean anything. All those trends could have just been coincidences. It might not have necessarily meant much, but it's a pretty consistent coincidence. So there at least is a reason to follow the pattern and think something might happen. Plus, I think it would be weird if we don't get a new switch at the launch of Tears of the Kingdom. Who doesn't think then that we would get a Zelda edition? So I don't know. Maybe we have another coincidence on our hands coming up or maybe there's nothing. And if there's nothing, then I guess the pattern's broken and we can maybe stop putting credence into it. But until then, this is actually worth probably paying more attention to than some of the random patents Nintendo files because Nintendo files a bunch of random patents on controllers and different technologies all the time. And most of the time, those patents don't really mean a whole bunch, a bunch of diddly squat. But sometimes stuff like this ends up mattering. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. You guys let me know what you think about this stuff down in the comments below. Obviously, a highly speculative thing based on a pattern of behavior, but patterns could be coincidences. They don't necessarily have to be truthful facts, but I'm going to be paying attention anyways. We all know there's been enough rumors and enough smoke around a possible new system for a long time. We all know there's a major Zelda game coming that's going to have special editions galore. So I guess, I don't know, we shouldn't have to wait too long. Zelda comes out May 12th. So if there's going to be something new, I expect to hear about it in the next three to four months. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rebelgents from Nintendo Prime. Go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you in the next video.